Hello and welcome to episode 4. Today is going to be quite a hectic episode. I am entering into Bolotki Village. This is the second zone that you unlock in, into the radius. Um, this is uh, a little more difficult than uh, Perfume Route. It introduces armored enemies, uh, seekers, uh, I think it introduces new anomalies maybe, and there is a construction site that is absolute pain to deal with. <laughs> So, I won't be visiting that this episode, but I will be completing some dangerous missions. I died trying to film this, uh, so I had to revisit an old save, unfortunately. I'm going to try to keep that, you know, I'm trying to not do that, but the death was a glitch-related issue. I'm not quite sure what caused it. It happened again this time, except I didn't die. So, it's just uh, into the radius, kind of bugging out. So, anyways, um... I doing some uh, did some looting. Found a 71 round drum for the PPSH. It is, <laughs> this is really good later on when you need tons of ammo, but you just you know don't have any magazines that are bigger than 30 rounds. This is the mission area for a Flash in the Dark. Uh, this is a very dangerous area full of anomalies and gas. Um, so you need a gas mask to go here unless you want to have a really, really bad time. So this has really, really, really good um, artifacts here. This one, Stellation, is worth $1,000 alone. Um, other ones are typically 200 you know, 500 700 stuff like that. And the Stellation one is worth 1000 so that was a pretty good haul. I also found the mission item there for A Flash in the Dark, which is a top priority mission. I do not believe this progresses my security level, but it will unlock the next top priority mission, which I believe does. So I just went around um, collecting loot, uh, and I have a couple more missions. One more requires me to use the uh, artifact detector and go to an anomaly field and uncover an artifact. And the other is something called Operation Cleanup, where you are tasked with taking out a bunch of enemies and sometimes the enemies can be like really really challenging but uh huh, this is where everything started to go wrong so it's nighttime it's really dark i can't see anything and if i turn my light on that's going to attract a bunch of enemies so i want to be careful so my gun goes flying out of my hands i'm almost dead i have no idea what's going on and to make things even worse, uh, I had to use my SKS, which is a really good rifle. Well, not really good. Decently good for this area I'm in, but it's not suppressed, which means I'm going to be attacking, uh, not attacking, I'm going to be attracting a bunch of enemies in a very large area. And also to make things worse, the magazine on the SKS is in the area where you would normally hold to steady other rifles. So sometimes when I go to steady my rifle to take a shot, I'm just going to take the magazine out, and it's a pain to deal with. So this this is where things start to go south. Um, I'm attracting like a bunch of enemies, and there's like nothing I can do about it. So I just, I just hold my ground, I do my best to stay alive, and then I make it to this, I guess, water uh, I, I, tower maybe? I'm not exactly sure what this was. But it's now a little survival base, so it has a little bed in it so you can sleep. So I went up, grabbed some loot, found a G17 that I'm never going to use because it's a piece of crap, and found some magazines and ammo that I can't use. So I decided to go to sleep and woke up the next day. So I started the next day by eating to regain my stamina. Uh, just had to eat the canned meat, which was not complying. Eventually I ate it all, refilled my stamina, and went out to get to work. I tried to kill the spawn with a knife, got hit twice, uh, before I was finally able to manage for it to get stuck, and then stab it to death. I am horrible at melee combat, um, I'm horrible at throwing knives, so, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I, I, I kind of panic whenever I have a knife. I mean, I could have used a rifle the entire time, but I still didn't want to attract anything, so... I tried try to switch uh, the knife between my two hands, and I screwed that up. And I'm attacking this phantom here, and I eventually kill it. So, 
this is where I'm attacking uh, another spawn I strafed into its jump, so I kind of look like an idiot there. I throw the knife, completely miss, the knife lands to my right, you can clear, you could have probably seen it, and then I was like, where is this stupid thing? And then I finally see it, I'm blind as a bat. Thing finally attacks it, uh, lunges at me, I hit it, grab the knife back. This is a dead body, has a camera on it, looks really weird. So yeah, uh, nothing else. Nothing else really happened, other than, oh yeah. Bruh. The gun was right here the whole time. I walked past it probably like seven times. I feel like such an idiot for this. So yeah, right here I'm at this Operation Cleanup mission where you just have to kill a bunch of enemies and then you get paid. Um, typically they just have a couple, you know, strong enemies and maybe a couple of these guys and then you're fine. Right there I was switching between, uh, normal magazines and AP mags, so if that, uh, that secret that I killed, the black thing, that, um, that glow around it, that meant it had armor, so basically you switch to AP, you know, armor piercing to take out things with armor easier, and they do less damage than normal full metal jacket, which are just standard bullets, but yeah, I, uh, got a good haul, um, from all of that combined, and I just went to this little house right next to the tethers and everything, I found a candy bar, and some sparklers. So overall, this is my complete haul. I bought a new gun, and I have a bunch of equipment. Tune in for the next episode, and thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.